gosh, Dwight, I guess you stayed in that locker a little too long. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here, and today we have another episode of the Artistic Mori Project. This is episode eight, I believe. And when we're talking about Artistic Moris, people say to me, what is an Artistic Mori? Well, if you've ever performed a Mori on a survivor or had a Mori performed on you as a survivor and it left you unfulfilled, was very unsatisfying because there was a rock in the way or grass obscured it, a wall, uh, boxes, poles, anything like that that would get in the way and obstruct your view of the Mori and left you unsatisfied, that's what this is all about. Delivering those satisfying mores to you with some nice, interesting location, lighting, cinematic quality. That's what we're striving for here. And this episode features Amanda Young, the pig. Uh, the next killer has already been picked by you in the straw poll. It's going to be the wraith. Um, I will have another straw poll here, so you can decide if you want to see the wraith in either the Prestige 3 head, all bloody, or as a legacy wraith i think we have both of those options available to us so straw poll link is in the description you pick what you'd like to see in the next one and then after that we only have two killers going to be the hillbilly and the trapper as the two final killers for the artistic mori project but the artistic mori project won't end there we still have a couple of other things up our sleeve but we're going to go through all the killers before we explore any of that anyway let's get right into the moris hope you enjoy it check them out
Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks go out to Nero and to Cat for shooting these with me and helping block them out. And normally this would be where I would show you the outtakes, but I don't really have any of that. There weren't a lot of goofy situations while shooting these. It was pretty smooth other than the unavoidable sound where seemingly whatever the survivor is laying on when Amanda stabs them through the hand, it makes the sound as if she is hitting that object. So if they're laying on concrete, it sounds like she's stabbing through concrete when she stabs them through the hand or through wood, etc. You only get like that fleshy sound when they're actually laying on earth in the middle of an open field. So that was just unavoidable. We had to live with it. Uh, there were a couple of screams that got cut short abruptly in the middle. So we either had to reshoot those or overlay good audio over the bad. But nothing really funny. Um, I do have this one moment that I'll show you here at the end where we were just testing out the Mori and seeing the limitations of Amanda pushing the survivor once the Mori started. So check that out. As always, take care of one another. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and bye-bye. There we go. Oh, I'm just stabbing nothing. What the heck? Oh, this was fun. <laughs> that was a great Mori. All right, now I, I get to kiss him. I get to kiss him. <laughs> Get to get to kiss him with my little pig nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just get just get really just get really close. Wait, just... no, look up with it. Look up, look up, look up, look up. I am look looking up. up. Like all the way up. I am. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I'll try moving your head like you're nodding, and just then then just do it like right in front of the. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of our love, I love him. <laughs> <laughs>